This is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of The Legend of Zelda. We're on second quest. And I'm trying to save up enough money to go buy the blue ring. Because frankly, I was getting my ass kicked before. Level 2. Okay. Just need to make it to 250, I'm pretty sure. Not exactly sure which enemies are the best for trying to farm. Okay, there's a good one. I did remember these guys seem to drop money. And yeah, they're pretty easy to kill, especially with the sword beams. Ah, dang it. Of course, I talk about how they're good at dropping money and then they don't drop much. I don't know how far away I'd have to go to get them to respawn either. I could burn one of those bushes, but I think it's going to be one of the ones where you would actually lose money. Ah, nothing there. Yeah, no thanks. I'm actually pretty close, so I think I'll start making my way towards the shop. At least where I think it's at. Okay. I think it should do it. I think I just need 250. Max out at 255 anyway. And across the I guess I consider this to be like a desert area. I kind of like to try to pop in and out of these screens just because it's hard to determine where those guys are coming out otherwise. So, I think it's either... Either in the stump here or else it's in the hidden area. Up top. Oh, this is the gambling game. I hope this is it. Okay. That's fairly cheap meat, too. Watch all that money go away. But I should be able to survive a little better now. So we're going to make our way back to level 2. Oh joy. I still do not anticipate it being easy. And there was one room where I didn't kill all of the guys in level 1. And I'm pretty sure... There's nothing to it. Like it wouldn't give me anything other than maybe a key.
So we're just gonna move on and not go back for that. This was where level 2 was in the original one, but I think it's just a shop or something now. Feeling my money a little bit. Yeah, I was coming this way so that I can get the fairy over here. I only need a half a heart now, but still take it. enough, too. I think the sword upgrade is in the same spot, second quest, as it was in the first one. Um, the magic sword, though, is not in the same spot. It's not in the graveyard anymore. And I'm not sure if the requirements changed or not. Like, I could imagine... That being a thing where they make you get more. Be able to use the sword upgrade in this second quest than they did in the first. And I guess fast. Alright, at least we're back in, so I can restart from here anytime I die. I think this was Dark Nuts. It's only like three of them, so I'll try it. How many hits did they take? It was three, I think. Four? That was just the compass. I mean, not exactly the most useful item, because I don't necessarily really care what room the boss is in. I'd rather be able to see the whole map. Over here. Ah, yeah. Hadn't gone past this because it looked like a nightmare. cannot stun those guys. I would assume killing all of them might give me something. making a little bit more progress. Probably end up dying here. But... Ah! Let me down the stairs! Wow. It's actually not an item, it's... Take me to another, another room. I do have a key. It sounds like that's the way to the boss.
Yeah. There's no way that I'm gonna get this without taking another hit. At least as soon as the one head comes off, I'm toast. Yeah. Taking a lot of hits to kill him, too. At least I know how to get to the boss now. That seemed to be a pretty decent pattern with those guys. I know I had beaten all the guys in this room before. Same with that one. How much farther had I made it past up here? I had made it farther, but... Oh, come on! How the hell didn't it hit that guy? Patterns. I guess at least when they're stunned, I can walk through them without taking damage. Plus, that's good to keep in mind. what I'm going to do there. I think this is probably the next one that killed me off. Ah, yeah, I never beat this guy before. Let's try to do that, I guess. Okay, a key and a fairy. I still got four bombs, so that's fine. If I can keep my distance and take my time here, I should be okay. Seems like so often they're running or coming towards me. I guess that was the master one. And well, that didn't really get me anything, I guess. Plus, there's a staircase or this room, but I. It. All right, so I got a key. Let's go up here. All right, good. Got the map. Okay. So there's only one room I haven't been in. 
and that's just going straight down. And then, yeah, the Triforce room after the boss. It's like a letter A, I guess. I guess I got a bomb through from the other side to get that key. Also, I think we ever got item. So there's gonna have to be a place where I push a block to make a ladder up here, or I have to beat all the enemies in an area, make it up here maybe. Beat all the enemies in this room. Oops, hit the bomb. They should all still be gone, I hope. Yep. Now, what other rooms didn't I empty out yet? Pretty sure I had emptied this one out before. Although could involve moving a block, I guess. they would do that, but who knows. Let's try here quickly. I think it'd probably be one of the ones on the end if it was going to be any of them. Yeah. Kind of hate the sound for the indicator of low health. I know it's there to warn you, but it's just also annoying. This is, well, I'm going to say this is probably the room, but it's going to be kind of hard to kill the rabbit old voice guy with just the sword, I think. Try bombs, I suppose. And was there anything over here that might... No, no. There's no block I can push there, and I know I already beat those guys. Alright. Not too hard to get back to this room, at least. Let's try a bomb. If I can predict fully enough where he's gonna be. Except he jumped. Oh, that didn't seem to work. Candle? For a second, I kind of thought he was stuck in a loop. Thought I might get lucky. Just a key. I don't think there are any more locked doors in here anyway. And I think if it dropped a key, that means I'm not going to be able to push any of these blocks either. Alright. 
Um, would be a secret hidden in the middle? I don't find anything else. I might try that. I think I beat these guys. That's probably going to be it, because there are other two blocks there, and after I kill them all, I'll be able to move one of them. Could try bombs on those guys too, but I don't want to waste all of my bombs. Yeah, that's what I was kind of hoping for. Thought I could hopefully farm some of those guys to try to get a... Bomb. Just let me through. And I'm not going to worry about killing these guys. Okay. For this, I guess if I'm going to try to bomb them, I'd like them to group up as much as possible. drawing board on that idea. Pretty sure I had already tried beating all these guys. This room, I guess I have to beat them all. Um... Just stay still. Be over in no time. Try a bomb here. Wow, kind of weird. Got him all the way over there. Um, eventually, I think this should do anything for me, killing all these guys. Yeah, they were kind of converging on my position there, I felt like. Hmm, once again. Guess I'll try that. Okay. Now you're messing with me. 
I'll try that room with the Gibdos again before I go down the stairs. I really doubt it, but we'll see. That was kind of bullshit. It went through that guy without hitting him that one time there. Yeah, it's nice though to pick up a heart. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure this isn't going to do anything for me anyway. Oh, rupees. Okay. doubt it, but once again, just to try to check, cover my bases. It's also possible I can bomb through the wall here to the left. Bastards are always just turning at the wrong time. Better try this before I... Okay. Well, that helped anyway. random as they seem to be, they really... <laughs> almost like they intuit your moves. Just bombs. bombs work on this guy? No, didn't seem like it anyway. Now, am I just forgetting? Did I pick up something in this? I'm... No, I'm fairly certain I have not picked up an item in here yet. I think the dungeons all still have items. I don't know. I think we're actually going to go ahead and call it there, though. I might try to look it up and see if I'm just missing something stupid. Because I really don't see what else I need to do in here. Other than beat the boss, of course, but I don't think that's going to drop an item. Just drop a heart container. Anyway, thanks for watching. And if you've been enjoying the content so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow. And we'll catch you next time.